Good morning, folks. Uh, I got a phone call this morning. Asked me if I want to check out a new spec of the DPX that just arrived. This is fresh off the boat. This is not ordered by by customers, but it's a very special combo, a very special spec that the experts at SN Martin Kuala Lumpur has created. Uh, let me give you a quick walkthrough. All right, what I see here. Okay, I don't want to check out the specs. I just I said no, no, no. Don't let me look at it. I'm not gonna memorize anything. I just want to explore and run my eyes across the car. All right. But when I saw the pictures that they sent me, this is yellow tang. Yeah, this color is called yellow tang. A very very special color. And look at the batch. Look at the batch. This is black. All black. And look at how the light runs through. This is beautiful. It's called a black chrome badge, all right? And it's one of many types of different badges that Aston Martin can create. Why? Again, for those of you who are watching it for the first time, every single Aston Martin logo badge, it's not, it's not some mass-produced plastic. All of them are made in a jeweler in London. All right. Yes, it is. In, it is itself a jewelry made of exotic materials. The usual Aston Martin logo that you see, the white color ones. Let me show you a quick one. These are what we call the usual Aston Martin logos. These are made of enamels, basically melted color glass that are poured in into these grooves, and then when they cool down. They look like paint, but they are actually colored glass, right? Anyway, let me continue this as we come to the sides of this beautiful 22 inch rims. These are some really nice designs. I mean, recently you see a lot of diamond cut rims and all that, right? But these type of uh, more classic finishing of rims will, will stand the test of time moreover if you watch the unveiling video where a journalist asked Aston Martin why you did not include carbon wheels in your DBX they made it very very clear this is a car that can truly truly go off-road that means if you would like to bring the car to more rugged patches or into the countryside and or or drive on some unpaved paths you know maybe stop your car on a on a grassland and just chill there ultimately you will run into situations whereby something might might scratch the wheels or something and or, or hit a curb or a ro rock or something and carbon is not the best material to take an impact they splinter they are impossible to fix same goes with diamond wheels anyone with an experience with diamond wheels will know that when it is cut or scratched it is way more difficult costs a lot more and in a way impractical to fix them and this is in consideration with people's usage all right so they really put their thoughts in there not just to create something to wow you and sell you but something practical and one thing I really like about the DBX is the proportions. Even though the wheel is of mammoth proportions, but look at how it fits into the car. And look at the proportions of the car. Does it look like your usual SUV? No, right? That's why I felt this is the most unique um, hyper SUV out there because it doesn't want to fall into the usual SUV profiles. I think I'm not the only I am not the only motoring journalist that, that said this the DBX is something very very unique right especially when you look at this part this part the height of this is actually what differentiates between a normal uh, car a low riding car then an SUV and I think Aston just 
found a perfect in between. And if you look at this kind of ground clearance, right, it is only slightly different from our usual cars, but because this car is fitted with all round air suspension and it is within its driving modes of different ride height. That means you can raise this car so high where you can do some really, really serious off-roading, which uh, they have demonstrated, okay? Now on the sides, you look at this, it looks, yes, it's gloss painted, gloss painted black, but it is no plastic, okay? Underneath this piece is a proper, proper sculpted aluminium all right which you can see in a bare car or in a cold morning just touch it it's cold to the touch all right and of course every single thing that are designed here are functional right Aston doesn't do things for show and, oh I just love this color look at the sparkles the sparkles that run off the paint as the reflection goes around I really like this spec this part and all these window trimmings they are not plastics they are all aluminium and this has been spat in black and of course the roof rails are made of aluminium as well beautiful materials now come to the rear this is another new thing that Essen introduces where you will be able to spec your tail lamps in clear glass so it first came out in the Virage, if I don't remember wrongly, whereby the rear tail lamps are of clear glass and that includes, that would go to the repeat as well. So now it is made an option whereby you can order it in clear glass. I think it's absolutely beautiful to order it in clear glass. And look at these Aston badges, they are in gloss black. And again, this thing. Right, the beautiful logo. It's also in black as well. And with this paint option, this part really stands out. All right, now you're wondering, oh, isn't this an SUV? Where is the rear wiper? Okay, that's why I said they are different. They are just different. So they have figured out a way at first at first glance, first thing I want to explain is the profile of the rear. It doesn't look like your usual straight cut SUV, right? And, and in fact, I pointed this out, it has a very unique profile at the back here. Instead of the usual SUV that looks like that, right? You open the, the boot, right? So, first things first, the rake angle of the rear windscreen. Isn't that very similar to your usual sedan? Yes, that's the first thing. The second thing is, they created this spoiler. Look at the little holes there. What it does is that it compresses air down, not only using the air as downforce for the rear spoiler, not only using the air as additional downforce with the ducktail to stabilize the car and braking. Also, while the air is traveling, it is actually pushing off any water on the surface this is the reason why it doesn't need an ugly wiper at the back ruining its design nice touch right let's go into the interior okay
and let's look into the its interior. Of course, the interior has to match the exterior color, and they have speck it with a really beautiful yellow color stitching. And again, I still like these aluminum inserts on the seats. Very, very nice touch there. Okay, let's come inside here. Okay, let's look at this interior. The beautifully sculpted interior. Here comes the door. Now, this car has an all-black interior, but what is nice is the contrast stitching in yellow, right? Absolutely beautiful. And the center console tunnel is all covered in beautiful leather in an Aston Martin okay same goes sweet upholstery Alcantara all these expensive materials everywhere all right beautifully designed and it's a very comfortable and spacious cabin in fact this is the most spacious car in its class when it's being compared to its competitors all right and you have this anodized black pedals the entire piece is just fantastic to touch it is sculpted in one piece one piece of sculpted metal all right let's come to the rear This is the perfect everyday Aston Martin. Seriously. Oh, this feels great. The amount of leg room, interior room, luxury, comfort, fantastic. All right, so this very, very unique spec just arrived in Aston Martin, Kuala Lumpur. If you want it, you better be quick if you do not want to wait for the allocation because this color is very, very special, very, very beautiful and it hasn't been spoken yet, okay? So it's here. So guys, thank you to Justin Martin, Kuala Lumpur for letting me feature that beautiful DBX in yellow tank over here. On pictures, it looked like bright banana yellow, but trust me, it is not. It is a more sophisticated color than that. Okay, cheers.